it's designed to disrupt your input output carrier so I'm interrupting your one of my favorite movies. What does that mean? To bring you this unboxing. You guys can hear the Matrix playing in the background there. Um, this has come from my very good friend and brother in arms with small engine repairs, Bruce Pender. Lives up in Canada. So I may finally have some Canadian plates. And they're worthy of a special unboxing knife. So we're going to use the Chris Reeve Small Sabenza and Singa. Be really careful so that in case you wrote me a note, I don't like butter. Oh, that is so nice. Love that knife. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not showing you because I want to see. Yeah, I got me a note here. I got me a note. It's sealed. Ah, oh, he found my birth year. Unbelievable. Bruce, fantastic. That, yeah, that is so cool. So cool. This one's going to find a really special spot on the wall. And we've got another one down here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, front and rear plates. 1966, my birth year. Bruce, you rock. Boy, I bet it took you a long time to find those. I thank you so very, very much for... All, I mean, that had to have taken a ton of effort. A ton of effort. Just cut my desk. Let me take a look at the note real quick. <laughs> it's not three months late, it's nine months early. That's funny. This is my birthday present. He was going to keep one, but I thought that would be breaking up the set. A bit more value keeping them together. Uh, I'm looking for a current Alberta plate and one from way down south. But this is a fun start. Stay safe, my friend. Your northern pal, Bruce Pinder. You guys can read that. Bruce, you knocked it out of the park, buddy. I really, really, really appreciate that. And it is uh, Sunday, November 12th. And the P.O. boxes are open on Sunday. And I had to go into town to the pharmacy anyway to get more fun steroids. Uh, but um, I thought, well, I'm going to take the dog with me. And we went into town, picked up something to eat. Stopped by the P.O. box and these were in there. So it made it a very, very good day. Uh, it's a rainy, nasty, dingy, dreary day, and I kind of hesitate to show you guys me, but I'm still playing the I'm sore game. Hi, uh, Clifford. Hi, uh, Clifford. Sorry about all the movement and everything, but Bruce, my friend, thank you so very, very much. Absolutely wonderful. I definitely appreciate it more than you know. I'm sure these were not easy to find. Looks like uh, somebody already had them hung up because they've got nail holes in them where they appeared to have been mounted. Why wouldn't they have mounted them in their existing holes though? Strange. Okay. Uh, last two days was spent... You guys can just sit there and look at those while I talk for a minute. Last two days was spent um, hauling 11 stove 11 stove length cut trees from Larry's. I did not fell the trees this time. Just took care of hauling them and, and getting them loaded and unloaded with bucket loaders. So I now have 11, excuse me, 10 ash tree and one giant oak sitting out behind the barn to split. If the rain lets up a little bit, I'll go out and show you guys that pile before I cut and edit this video and get it posted. Not real exciting for you guys, but very exciting for me. Bruce, I'm, I'm serious. You must have really had to have looked long and hard. So, thank you for my 52nd birthday present. 
since you missed the 51st. <laughs> Alright guys, Bruce, my friend, my great northern friend, I appreciate you so much. And I know that uh, the times you're going through, that you will find the way and the strength and everything will work out. Hang in there, buddy. Talk to you all in the next one. It's Zippo. Thumbs up for me. Well, there's Miss Bell. She just got a haircut the other day. She's got her Thanksgiving bandana on. Oh, I gotta show you guys something before we walk out and look at the wood pile. I love being a bachelor. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> That's right. Big Bill and Little Billy are in the den. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, where are you going? Oh, where are you going? Light's not great in here. Hi, do, baby girl. Hi, do, good girl. Okay, let's go out real quick, take a look at the uh, wood pile that I mentioned just a minute ago. I won't worry about a jacket, just taking a quick walk out. And it is raining. To grab my glasses off. Fortunately, the GoPro is waterproof. I'll tell you, everybody that comes over that hasn't been over since that uh, hay wagon or green wagon was put up. Is that yours? And I know I've already told you guys this, but I saw Trudy today and I told her, I said, I have quit telling people it's not mine. Because <laughs> everybody asks. Say hi, Calamity. Okay. This rock maple was already here. All these big rounds. I picked this up. Uh, last year I've been letting it cure and it's plenty cured well enough now. I'll come on around. This right here is locust. Just right here. And then it's kind of hard to get a perspective, but it's uh, about five feet tall. Stacked pretty deep. All the way back to the gills in there. Plenty of wood, and I have one oak tree, and the rest is, as I said, ash. So, there you go. I don't think I'm going to run out of heating wood anytime soon. Here's how bad the ash got. When this one came down, it actually just split itself. This weighs about 10 pounds. Uh, so it was a good thing that the trees came down when they did. But there you go, guys. You know who this is. This is your friendly neighborhood Zippo. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. We'll holler at y'all later.